that's come onto the balls of your feet with your knees and feet hip width apart and your hands directly underneath your shoulders. Finding that neutral spine position, keeping the head and the neck in alignment with the rest of the spine. Keeping the core lightly held in and maintaining your breath wide and full through the nose, breathing out through your mouth. Okay, an extra challenge in high plank position, alternating the knee coming in towards the chest into slow mountain climbers. Keeping the core lightly held in and the breath flowing. Sit back onto your heels and relax there. Come onto the balls of the feet with your hands directly underneath your shoulders. Walk your hands and your feet up the full length of your mat and back down again. Keeping the bottom down low. Keeping the core lightly held in. We can challenge this exercise by tapping the opposite hand onto the opposite shoulder and then alternating each foot so it comes off the mat. Filling it through the fronts of your thighs and through the core. So tap, tap and then foot and then foot. And relax, sit back onto your heels into child pose. Okay, let's get into side plank position. So lying on your side with your elbow directly underneath your shoulder, the bottom leg is bent, top leg straight. Lift the arm up towards the ceiling as you take a breath in, breathing out as you reach back behind. Keeping the hip and the waist elevated off the mat, rotating through the spine as you scoop the arm back behind. Breathing in as you lift, out breath as you reach back. And relax. So now we can challenge this position. Let's stack both knees on top of each other, lifting the hip and the waist as we lift the top leg up. So working through that bottom glute as we lift our weight off. Lifting the hip and the waist, so still working the, in, the external oblique muscles and working the glute muscle as well as we lift up on our out breath, in breath as you lower. Nearly there. And relax. Let's lean over into a mermaid stretch, lift the arm up and over and relax into that. Come on to the other side into our side plank position. Again, check your elbow alignment directly underneath your shoulder. So let's reach up towards the ceiling. Take a breath in, out breath, reach back behind you. Feel the middle of the spine stretch as you reach back, keeping that hip and the waist lifted from the mat. Keeping the core lightly held in. Breathing in and breathing out. Relax the hip back down. Let's, let's get into the other position by lifting that top leg up and down now. So as you lift the hip and the waist from the mat, you lift the top leg up to recruit those glute muscles. Breathing out, press up, really feeling it through that lower glute as you drive your body up, breathing in as you lower. Nearly there. And rest. Let's lean over into your mermaid stretch. Take that hand to the feet behind you. Reach right up and over and relax. So coming down onto your elbows and your forearms with the elbows 
just underneath the shoulders. Lifting one leg up towards the ceiling, squeezing the glute as we lift that leg up. Careful not to dip through the pelvis, keeping the head and neck in alignment with the rest of the spine. Maintaining good core control, breathing out as you squeeze the glute as you lift up. Breathing in as you lightly tap the big toe down onto the mat. Hold the leg up and draw a small circle, making sure there's no movement through the hip. Nice and controlled. Change this position now to bend the leg and lightly tap the knee down onto the mat. Breathing in as you lower, breathing out, clenching the glute as you lift the leg up towards the ceiling. Relaxing those shoulders. Straight onto the other side. Straight leg first, lifting the glute, tapping that big toe down onto the mat. Pelvis nice and stable, breathing out as you lift, in breath as you lower. Holding it, circling the leg, small circle to maintain good pelvic control. And let's finish off with bending the leg, tapping the knee down onto the mat lightly, squeezing the buttock as you push the foot up towards the ceiling. Breathing out, press up, in breath as you lower. Nearly there. And relax. Sit the bottom back onto your heels into child pose position. So let's find pipe position. Let's rest onto the ball of the foot. That supporting leg is straight. Draw that other knee in towards the chest as you scoop the spine towards the ceiling. Bring that nose towards the knee. Breathing in as you draw that knee in, squeezing that glute as you kick back. And change sides, drawing the knee in, kick the leg back, squeezing the buttock as you push back up towards the ceiling. Nearly there. And relax. Pike back up towards the ceiling, dropping the head of the neck down, walking through the feet to stretch out your calf muscles, pushing those heels down into the mat, alternating each leg. Right, let's start in pike position, pressing the heels down into the mat. Hands just a little wider than shoulder width apart. Drop the knees down so they're just hovering above the mat, just a couple of inches off the mat. And pike up towards the ceiling, sinking that chest down towards the mat. And then dropping the knees, breathing in, breathing out, press up. Hold it there and then bend the legs, keeping the core held in. Breathing out, pike up towards the ceiling. Breathing in and bend, holding it. And now walk your hands into a high plank position, keeping that bottom down low. And let's tap one foot out to the side, away from the center of the body. Keeping that back nice and flat, bottom down low, belly held in, just alternating each side. Okay, to end this sequence, sink the chest down towards the floor and sit the bottom up towards the ceiling. 